Hey YouTubers, this is Tim again at JL Miniatures. Um, I'm just going to do a quick uh, basing video. This right here is the uh, Mangler Squig like wrecking unit. I decided to do them as a uh, one piece or do them separately as a unit with uh, just the one model as a unit itself. I didn't really care for the whole stacked um, look. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick brushing this right here is an off it's an off white uh, it's called a maggot white so it's got like a slightly green tint to it what i'm going to do is i want to basically paint this in one color down here at the bottom and then i'm going to kind of feather it as i go closer to the uh Oops, sorry about that. I got the huge base on this just so I can get a hold of it. The other one, I got the smaller base on. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the base colors down here. And then just kind of go from there. Some of the stuff I took and just glued on that I just kind of liked where it was, where I was going to put it at. Not that necessarily that's where it went. So basically that's my first coat. And like I said, that's just basically a, my starting point. With my squigs, um, what I did is I took and did them in like color coding. So the smallest ones would be really dark blue and purples. Uh, that would be like the squig herds. Then with the uh, squig hopper unit, I took and did them in a red, orange, yellow, so they're really fire flame kind of look. And with these guys here, I wanted a real light uh, white, light blue kind of look. Now this um, is just going to be one of those things that are uh, just to see how they look. So this is just going to give me some paint on my mini, then I can decide if I want to go lighter with it or if i want to go darker with it i think i'm going to stick with the the lighter themed i kind of like that a little bit nicer a little bit better for me this thing is just coming off so i'm gonna pop it off make it a little bit easier for both of us to see it i'm just going to take and start dabbing some paint on here kind of feathering it out as i go just to give me a little bit more look a little bit better look anyways to see if i like this now i'm gonna still come back in i'm gonna take and feather it out and all that so it's not gonna be just just these two colors like i said i'm gonna take and i'll bring some more colors into it and stuff like that once i figure out if I like the lighter ones or if I like a darker one or if I want to do a pattern, say I'll do a pattern to it. Right now I'm just trying to get some color on it so I can kind of see where I want to go from there. You'll see like weapons sticking out of it. So you got the, you got the Saurus Warriors hand weapon. This is a dark elf spear sticking out of it. I think it always looks kind of cool when you accessorize these and customize them. This one here is pretty basic as far as the stance and everything else. He's just really, he's leaning really heavy to one side. So he's got the balls, he's got he's got the, the, the chain here with the bell. And that's something that I just took and I added to it because there's an extra spot. He's got the dwarven... I'm not even sure what this is. It's a dwarven head on a chain or on a on a rope. So this is basically right where I'm going with it as far as color wise. Once it dries up a bit, then I'll I'll know if that's where I'm that's the way I'm heading or not.
as you can see I'm kind of just dabbing it and pushing that paint around a little bit it's still quite wet so it gives me a little bit of time to to work it in place and get it where I want it kind of smooth it out make it a little bit easier to adjust the paint later on if I decide to go this dark I think I'm gonna end up lightening it up quite a bit but that's just that's just me These remind me of giant piranhas anyway, so you got all that muscle and you can see how this is kind of changing right now as I'm getting that second coat on there. I do like that green primer and you can tell that I'm not really shy about getting the paint in there right now. So I'm using this huge nasty brush just to kind of get it all in there. But you can see on the underside, you can still see it kind of really wet. So I'm going to go back through it again and hit it and try to get a little bit more feathering done to it. looking pretty mean now all right so that's the base coat I believe on the first one then I'll come back and then uh, we'll take and do some more some more uh, highlighting detailing some uh, more dry brushing and uh, smooth it out a bit more again this is Tim at JL miniatures uh, thanks for uh, watching and look forward to my next one.